is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs here on Aviator Games and you guys, today is a big day. Today, Megan and myself are gonna try to make a second baby. Yes, you guys may know. <laughs> look at look at Mr. Look at Mr. Cool Guy right here. Yes, we have a child already. God, he is stinky and he looks really, really cringy. He needs an outfit wardrobe change. But yes, we have one child. Me and Megan are already full-fledged adults. Soon we'll be elders. Well, not soon, but... If you look here, in 18 days we become elders, so I thought it'd be time to make a second baby. We have two pets, why not have two kids? <laughs> and the business is doing well, we have some money, you know, we can make things happen. So that's what we're going to try to do as we take care of our troublesome toddler in today's episode. We're also going to try to make another baby. But guys, before we get into this episode, I want you to know, yes, I'm in the middle of the ocean right now. Well, not right now. Right now I'm recording a video. But as you're watching this, I'm on a cruise, a winter cruise. I'm actually going to be back December 16th. That's on Saturday. Dab, dab. And... <laughs> on Saturday, I'll be back to live streaming, but until then, you're gonna get videos. So when I'm gone, this is not time off for you. No, it's not. Don't sit there just being a duh the whole time I'm gone. Don't be there with your whole hand in your mouth, you know, I don't know, choking yourself. I don't know what you do when you're being a duh, because I'm not a duh. Be a doer. Get up off your butt and be a doer. You know what doers do? Doers smash that like button. So the first order of business of being a doer is hitting the like button on this video. Do it, do it now, and comment down below, hashtag, I'm a doer! And if you're a dud, uh, let me know that down below too. I'm sure there's a lot of you. You gotta be doers, guys. That's what pays the bills, the doers. Okay, let's harvest all. We forgot about our garden. All of our plants are like brown. Our mushrooms are going bad. Uh, I, I forget we have this. That, that's that's partially the problem. <laughs> that I forget we have a garden on our rooftop because it's just not something. Luna, I know you want to go on a walk, but dude, we're so busy. Fine, I'll take you on a walk. Are we eating? After we eat our hot dog, I'll take Luna on a walk. Let's see what kind of stuff Megan harvests here. I'm kind of curious to see if we're going to get a lot of mushrooms and carrots and all that good stuff. Um, are we almost done eating? We got to be almost done eating. We're, we're getting close. Let's, uh, let's, uh. Let's uh, go to pet care and go with uh, go on a walk. Let's actually go for a jog with Luna because, you know, I'm getting pretty unhealthy. I've just been sitting down, working this vet clinic, eating a whole bunch of hot dogs. So I think it's probably best for me, yeah, <laughs> for me to get out there and do some running. Let's go, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm gone. Let's have Megan make sure she's taking care of Aaron. Aaron's still asleep. Megan needs to give Aaron a bath, though, because Aaron's ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Uh, do we have a bathtub upstairs? We do. So let's give, give Aaron a bubble bath. Let's do something like that. Cause Aaron could really use it. Aaron's very angry. He's got that stomach problem. He's hungry. Wait, do we have the puppies have food? The puppies do have food. Okay. I was, I was starting to get worried. What's with all these smells? Does the cat sting too? Does Leo smell? Okay. So let's watch May and bathe little Aaron over here and see how he does. See how he fares in the bathtub. Maybe I should bathe a Luna. We, do we, I don't think we have another bathtub, though. Uh, okay, so what if I... Let me refill these. Because these two are pretty empty. I don't want to worry. Oh, land grab. Shut the power off. Whoopsie. Forgot to pay the bills. Uh, how much are our bills? Uh, oh, $4,600. Okay. Bills paid. The lights are back on. Oh, boy. How much money's in our business? You know what? Let's open our business. We're not going to be there today, but let's open it. God dang it. It's three and a half stars. Uh, why'd I buy that perk of better management? <laughs> if they can't keep our stars good. Good. Okay, so let's see. What am I going to do? Am I going to play with Aaron? Let's check on our toddler here. Okay, so we're going to check on little baby Aaron. He's clean now. Let's talk about our day to Aaron. Maybe, um, let's brain his day. He's very angry. Let's, uh... Let's pick Aaron up because that's probably something. Let's go to parenting. Teacher say please and thank you. Help with needs. Okay, let's uh, make a fun face. Ask to clean self off. Let's make a fun face. Let's do that. That'll probably help his bad attitude, his angry, angry, angry attitude. Uh, let's maybe go read toddler book. Let's go downstairs and read a toddler book because we got to feed him. Because Aaron's probably hungry, and then we have a sippy cup that we could probably destroy. Can I toss this in the toilet? There we go. Could I have tossed it in the toilet? Oh my god, we're gonna redo him up here? He's hungry! 
We gotta reach him downstairs. Uh, let's see. Can I pick him up? Let's pick up. And let's put him down here once we pick him up. Okay, let's just do that. Because that's vitally important that he gets fed. So, let's put Aaron down here. Okay, and then let's go over here as, a, as an adult. Open up the refrigerator and grab some of these leftovers and set them right there. Okay, and then as Aaron, once he gets brought down here, because he's very angry, he's hungry. Let's have him eat some hot dogs. Now, what can I do to help this 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 problem? Nothing. Good. Okay, so what we're going to have my guy do, we're going to go down here. And we're going to get to crafting some stuff. Let's go to uh, some treats. Now, we made this $300 treat and give us $1,000. let us make another one of those. Let's make a little bit of that those that bill money back. Oh, and it looks like looks like Luna and Aaron are sitting on the couch. Aaron's eating, Luna's napping. We need to get a TV here. I think we're gonna get rid of this computer and and and, and replace it with a TV because the living room needs a TV. So let's sell that. Three thousand seven hundred bucks. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. TV, TV. Uh, do you guys have a TV stand? Oh my God, that's huge. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, that's also huge. Uh, nope, that's also too big. Okay, so hold on now. We need a TV stand. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw some. Okay, so let's go with something like this. This house is very classic. Are we going to have to just put it in the center of the floor? I don't want to do that. We can put it here. I mean, is this like... I'm trying to decide where we can put this and where it's like actually going to be a nice spot to put it. Uh, we can put this massive TV there. Just doesn't look good here, you know? It's. Let's go back. Let's put the computer back. Okay, because we can just put a TV over here regardless. So let's put this bad boy like right here. And then maybe just get a smaller TV. Nothing too crazy in size. Just because. I don't want something massive kind of blocking the view here, so there, that's not bad. I mean, we have a TV now, and that kind of is all that matters, right? So we're having Aaron eat, he's he's munching away. Uh, maybe we can turn on cartoons, so let's uh, watch channel Kids Network, because then Aaron can come over here and watch it too, so let's have Aaron watch current channel. So he can do that, and hopefully, hopefully that makes him happy. Okay, so he's done with the hot dog. Did you eat the hot dog? Did you eat all that? Are you, are you satisfied? You're not satisfied. Here, come here. Eat the rest of that hot dog. You got to eat the rest of that, Aaron. You spent all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've done. I don't know if I like this TV here. We can decide on that later. You guys can let me know in the comments if this TV sucks in this spot. Because, like, the living room needs a TV. But it also makes this very, like, small area. So... Maybe we can get rid of this chair and then move the TV more center. I, I mean, that might be something we end up doing just because this off-center stuff is going to drive me mad. So let's maybe... Uh-huh. And then we can even move it in one just because there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of things we're going to do too close to the coffee table. And let's get this in black just because... That way it's just a lot neater. And then there's a lot more better walking area. So I, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. Aaron's feeling playful. He's ate a lot. So let's actually have... Oh, we got to put the hot dogs away. Let's put the hot dogs away. Let's have Aaron uh, not sleep. Let's have him uh, play with dolls. Let's have him do that. What are we doing? Are we done with the... Are we done with it? Did we finish it? Oh, we did. $1,000. There we go, guys. Pretty easy money. <laughs> so we made $700 there. But now let's have a little romance with me and Megan. Because if we're going to make a baby... We have to get a little romantic with each other. You can't just be like, let's make another baby. So we're going to have a little conversation, flirt back and forth, maybe comment her appearance, embrace her, maybe make a funny face. Um, then maybe let's go to romance, uh, express our fondness for Megan, how much we love her. We think she's amazing. She is everything. So we're going to let her know that. We're going to make funny faces. Let's profess our undying love for her. Uh, let's whisper seductively. And let's uh, give her a nice kiss. Let's do all that. We're going to make all of this happen. How's the how's the vet clinic doing without us? Okay, $2,000. Nothing too crazy. Oh, boy. Okay, so now let's go try for a baby. We're going to see if we can have another baby, guys. This is what it all comes down to. Will we have another baby? 
Okay, so it looks like she's down. So we're going to head upstairs. And we're going to see if we can get Megan pregnant. We got her pregnant on the first try last time. So let's see if we can keep that up with this attempt. Two for two! <laughs> That's all we want, to be two for two. Okay, so here we go. Lined up with the bed. Nice cinematic shot. You know, babies. <laughs> babies, dip dab. Okay, so here comes the baby making. Now, uh, ideally, we would have a girl because then we'd have a boy and a girl. That's ideally, I think, in any family. A lot of families want one boy, one girl. You get the best of both worlds. You can have a boy. You can have a girl. You can have two different species. Well, I mean, they're one species, two different genders. <laughs> so that's 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 the goal. That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for Megan to be pregnant. And we're hoping for it to be a girl. So let's have her take the pregnancy test. It is $15, so hopefully this is good. Mm -hmm. What's it going to be? She's eating for two! Congratulations, Megan is expecting. There's going to be a new addition to this household. Okay, so Megan is expecting. So soon she should be giving birth. Well, in like three or four days. So we'll have about 15 days until we're elders, which is pretty crazy. Uh, let's maybe blow her a kiss. Be a little romantic with her. You know what? We're looking a little out of shape. So why don't I get out of the house really quick? I got to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the city. We're going to play some hoops and try to get some fitness skill. Try to slim down. Because we want to be able to be active with our kids. We want to be a healthy dad. So uh, let's go to the city of San Myshuno. And then let's go to the Spice District. And go to this karaoke area. Because then we can go to the basketball court. Play some hoops. Do some big dream shots. And hopefully just slim down a little bit. And gain a little uh, muscle. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully that goes well. So we'll see. Okay, so arriving at the vet clinic, or not the vet clinic, <laughs> the basketball court. We should go to the vet clinic, though. Not today. We'll let, we'll let them run it by themselves one more time. Okay, so here's the basketball hoop. We have not been in San Myshuno in a long time, so let's do Dream Big, because Dream Big really just gives you a ton, a ton of athletic skill, and it slims you down real fast, so let's do a lot of Dream Bigs. Now, we're probably going to suck. I don't know what my skill is. Fitness level three. Okay, so we're not like brand new noobs to the fitness thing, but oh boy, here we go. Fitness level four. We're just gonna keep grinding this, guys. Like, look how easy this is. If you guys didn't know, like, look at pro tip. Trying to improve your fitness skill real fast. Well, just grind away at dreaming big on the basketball hoop, and your fitness skill will rise. Like, look at it. It's like every two to four shots, you rise a skill point, which is pretty crazy. Oh boy, here we go. Can we get to like eight? Can we get to eight? We have a cooking skill five. We have some pretty good skills here. We gotta work on more pet training skills though. Okay, so let's see here. We're feeling really jacked right now, really yoked. Let's keep dreaming big, dream big. All the dream bigs, all of them. Okay, what level are we right now, six? Okay, we're slowly moving to seven. We're actually not slowly moving, we're fastly moving to seven. We're gonna do this the rest of the night and then we're gonna head home and then go to the vet clinic tomorrow and hope to keep our rating pretty high. Here we can perform the hill challenge on the treadmill now. That's great. We're gonna keep this going, guys. Already level seven. Okay, let's see here. Yep, fitness level seven. Oh my God. We gotta go to the bathroom too, so we might pee our pants doing this. So that, that would be really good. Slam dunk, oh, and he poops himself. He poops himself very uncomfortable. Sprained ankle from failing to dunk. Two hours. We got a potty. This is not good. Let's do a couple more. Epic workout on the weight machine. We can do so many things now, guys. I think we really did have a good workout, though. So let's head home. You know, we look a little slim down, but we feel healthier, and that's all that matters. So let's head home, try to go to the bathroom, eat something, take a nice shower, and then go to bed, and then get ready. So head to the vet clinic in the morning and hopefully make sure that we can do some rating control. Because I'm sure our rating probably went down a little bit today because for some reason our employees just can't handle themselves without me there, which is really annoying. So we bought the well-managed little aspiration. When we are home, we are feeling very uncomfortable. So I'm going to come up here. We're going to use this. We're going to take a, a bubble bath. Let's actually take a bath with soaks. Where is that? Uh Oh, we can't use soaks in this one? Okay, let's take a bubble bath then. Luna has led a good life filled with bones, balls, and barks, but it is now time to lay down and make sure her way to the big dog park in the sky. And make her way to the big dog park in the sky. <gasps> no, Luna. 
Luna, 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 Luna. No, Luna! No, we've had it forever! This is episode 15! Grim, you can't come for Luna. Grim, no, 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 no. Luna, please. Luna, please. Luna, can I plead for her life? 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 One does not plead with death before the reaping yeast be reaped. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here comes Luna. She's just sitting there. She doesn't want to go, Grim! She doesn't want to go! Oh boy. Oh boy, Luna. Luna. Wait. Oh my god, our kid Eric just keeps pooping himself. God dang it, hold on. Why, Grim? Why can't I talk to you? Luna! Ah! You evil craphead! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is there anything we can do? Let's uh, strengthen our connection to the physical world. Luna's connection strengthened. Let's leave a skull offering. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, engrave. Let's engrave. Okay, so let's see. Rest in peace, our sweet baby girl. Okay, so that is Luna's little to uh thing. Uh, let's actually put her in the backyard because that's where she'd rather have been in the backyard playing outside for all eternity. So we're gonna put Luna back here. This is so sad. This is really, really sad. This is messed up. I feel sad. I feel all sorts of feelings right now. And we were like out just shooting basketball when I should have been taking her on walks. Well, at least she got a nice jog in with us on like the leash and just got to have a good time there. We're very embarrassed right now. So we could even die ourselves. So I'm trying to just not die too. Jesus, God. Okay, Um, what can we do to not die? That's... That's the question. Uh, let's uh, hide from everyone. Let's do that because we're feeling very embarrassed. We're like one little stage away from being mortified or something. And then we're going to die. So we got to be careful. Let's hide from everyone. Okay, so there we go. Now we're just feeling uncomfortable. We're going to go to bed. We're going to have Megan go to sleep as well. And it looks like everyone is sad. Except it looks like I missed out on this. Like, do I not know Luna's dead? This is so messed up. I don't even know. Oh, my God. Okay, it looks like Aaron's going to bed. He's pooped himself a thousand times. Oh, we're going to have to potty train him. This kid needs potty training. <sighs> okay, let's go upstairs. Let's, let's just go through this sleeping... What was that? Leo, what are you doing? Well, at least Leo's happy. He's just sleeping downstairs by the fire pit in our little writer's den. This is inspiring me to write... Aaron is very hungry. This is inspiring me to write a book, I think. I think I gotta write a book about Luna. I need to. So let's go use the toilet when we wake up. Take a quick shower. Not a bath. Take a shower. Okay, let's wake up. Close the business. How much money did we make? $9,800? Okay, the reviews probably suffered from staying open overnight, but... There we go. Um... Can I change his dirty diaper? Because he looks like he needs it. Let's quickly let's quickly bathe Aaron because he's just like really stinky and he's frustrated. So let's bathe him really quick. And then I want to feed Aaron too. And then... Yucky Bear, no thanks. We can't talk right now. I want to write a book about Luna. I feel really sad. We're going to open the vet clinic too in honor of Luna. There we go. Vet clinic open. Okay, let's, uh, let's pick up... Aaron and then take him downstairs let's put Aaron down here and then let's open up the refrigerator uh, clean out spoiled food let's do that okay so Aaron's downstairs now so he's safe okay so all the spoiled foods getting cleaned out oh my god emotional control what just happened he just pooped everywhere okay here here potty train Aaron did he just poop again? I can't tell. Oh, he broke his thing. Hold on. Parenting. Discipline recent behaviors. Uh, let's be firm. Express disappointment for smashing dollhouse. Tell not to smash dollhouse. Let's be strict. 
yell at for smashing dollhouse because that is unacceptable we're not going to deal with that bull crap so he learned better emotional control from that yeah you can't just smash your dollhouse people work really hard to give you this dollhouse so megan's going to repair that after we potty train aaron a little bit uh let's see i cleaned out all the dirty food or all the old food it looks like i'm eating a meal now we got to feed aaron too today so let's clean up all of this and then go over here Let's see, open this, open this for Aaron, and drop this right here. And then Aaron can literally grab a serving of this as soon as he's done eating. But it looks like we're trying to actually get him to poop, and he's actually kind of got to go. So he might learn something here. Wait, hold on now. Did he even go? He did go. Okay, so acquire the handiness skill. Looks like Megan's fixed the dollhouse, and Megan's got some disgusting BO or something going on here. So let's have her go upstairs and take a nice bubble bath, okay? Like, uh... Like a nice lawn bubble bath, something that she doesn't just, she could just be, have her, her time, you know, because she's pregnant, as you guys can see. Uh, how pregnant is she? Right now she's in the second trimester, so oh my god. In like two days she's going to have a baby. So it looks like Aaron's eating. I'm going to turn this off. I'm not looking to watch this. Let's go downstairs and let's write, okay? Let's write a book. Okay, so let's go to writing and write a book, a children's book. We're gonna write a book and we're gonna dedicate it to Luna. It's gonna be a children's book and maybe it can be something we read to Aaron as he grows up. So let's see, uh, type this up. Wait, when do we get to title it? Okay, so let's call it, uh, uh, what did we call it? Um, uh, Luna, the, the, wait, no, what if, it's gotta have like a name, like Luna, what, like, what's good with Luna, like, you know, Curious George, what could be Luna's thing? Looney Luna, let's call it that. Looney Luna, okay. So Looney Luna is gonna be the book titles. Um, a new beginning, okay. So that's gonna this is gonna be the first book. This is the first book of the Looney Luna series. Comma, where you get to meet an adorable pup named Luna. There we go. And then let's go down here. De let's do this. Dedicated to Luna letter. Okay. R R I P. Okay, so there we go. Done. And we can type up this book. So this is going to be a work of art, a work of passion, a work of many things. Oh, oh. Let's go up and see Megan. She's feeling very sad. Maybe we can have her cry it out. Maybe we can have her call the sadness hotline too. So let's go here and have her call the sadness hotline. Try to feel better about herself there. And then give yourself a pep talk. Let's do all these things just to make herself feel a little bit better. And there, she feels playful now. So that's good. So we still have to raise Aaron. And it looks like he's playing with Leo. Leo seems pretty interested in, in, uh, in Aaron. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh, that is so cute. That is the cutest. Okay, so it looks like they're having a good time. And it looks like Megan's just feeling very playful. Why is everyone so very everything? Everyone's very something. Okay, let's go downstairs. We're writing this book. We're feeling happy because we're reliving all these old memories we had with Luna. And we're just feeling really good about ourselves. How's the vet clinic doing? $1,600 on the day. And nothing too impressive. No, sorry. Can't answer the phone right now. Leo's down here. He doesn't like the computers. Calm down, Leo. How's this book coming? How is this book coming? We are over halfway done with the book. I really want to just <clears throat> read this book to Aaron. I want to read the book myself. I want to relive these moments we had with Luna because this new beginning. This book is going to be about like bringing her home as a puppy and just like raising her as a puppy, which is was good memories, guys. Was really good memories. Tell me your favorite memory of Luna in the comment section, guys, down below. What's your favorite memory that we had with Luna in the series? I, I would love to know all your memories down in the comments. Okay, and Megan's still very sad because she's over here remembering a past pet. Bark no more. Oh god, that's so sad. <laughs> the names of these are sad. Okay, let's let's um hmm. Let's mourn Luna. We gotta keep her strong. One achievement. Zach just finished writing his first book. Okay, so we wrote our first book so we can read uh Lonely Luna New Beginning. Lonely Luna, or Looney Luna. So let's read this. How did you get down here, Aaron? <laughs> I thought you can't climb stairs. <laughs> thought toddlers can't do stairs. Well, I don't know how he got down here, but he's down here. So we're reading the book. We're trying to catch ourselves up on what it's all about and what, and just make sure it's 
There's no typos or anything. And it looks like an interesting children's book about ghosts and vampires. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Be a doer. Don't be a dumb. Be a doer. And comment down below, hashtag I'm a doer if you're a doer. And you hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new around here. I upload five Sims videos a week, so if you enjoy Sims content, you might enjoy this channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.